Hey guys, Ryu here with none of it for Blender and this one I'm going to be talking about the knife in Blender 3.0. 3.0 has introduced a lot of changes and knife is working a little bit differently. So let me show you. So shift A and let's drop a plane. Okay. Let's say that I wanted to create a regular knife cut. So we need to go to edge mode. I'm going to do it with machine tools, which is a fantastic add-on. And by the way, links to all the add-ons I'm using are in the video description. So if you're interested, have a look at at my video description so i'm going to go to edge and i'm going to press k and you can see my cursor has changed to a knife with a kind of a you know a dot and if you hover over an edge it's going to snap to it you can see that edge is changing color meaning you're snapping to that edge with a knife tool so if you now click with your left mouse button you'll see that there's going to be a line being dragged out and if you drag it to another edge it's going to snap again if you click you're going to perform you know kind of a connecting line and if you press space you will introduce an edge here so you're going to cut it with a knife like that this is a very basic operation you know using knife and blender okay now let's get a bit more complicated so let's say that you wanted to uh, create a straight cut okay so you know not a cut like that but really perfectly straight you need to press a this will enable angle snapping okay and by default this angle is 30 degrees but you can change it if you go to knife tool here press n and you can change it from 30 which is by default to for example 45 which in my opinion makes more sense so now i can enable knife here and i can you know press a and i can enable you know angle snapping to 45 degrees so i'm just gonna click 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 space bar and i'm done now another useful thing to know is how to cut multiple shapes without having to press k and spacebar all the time so let's say you need to uh, perform a lot of cuts so press k and let's just perform a cut in here like this okay and then let's say i want to create another cut so i'm going to press right mouse button and then you can see this line is going to disappear the connecting line and then you can start creating a new cut for example something like this and then let's press right mouse button again and you can cut it again in the middle of this you can press a for example and you can start snapping stuff to angles if you want to press a again to turn it off and you know spacebar and you have multiple cuts on your mesh another useful thing to know is how to cut through multiple edges without having to click on every single one of them normally if i was you know was about to draw a cut here i would need to click on every single edge i'm gonna go through but it's a little bit tedious and kind of you lose the uh, the view of the overall picture which you want to really cut because you have to focus on clicking on every single line it's a little bit annoying so let's press escape to cancel that press k and the way to do this is to simply click and hold so when you click and hold the left mouse button you can run your mouse through multiple edges like this okay and you can kind of uh, freestyle cut through multiple edges and they'll automatically connect and at the end press space bar and you're done okay this is really cool when you want to create some kind of a you know sort of a um, freestyle cut on your mesh another useful thing to know is how to snap your knife to the middle of an um, of an edge so if you press k and you hover over an edge here and you hold shift you'll see that it's going to snap to the middle of this edge so if you want to keep uh, cutting through the middle of edges simply hold shift all the time when you're running through edges it's gonna keep snapping to the middle of edges and you're gonna be 100 percent sure that you know every single cut is gonna go through the middle of the edge so let me show you how to cut through a mesh like for example cube right so let's press k and let's just slice this in half here and press spacebar and you can see that this cut didn't go through the mesh so now if you want to cut through the mesh you need to press k and then before you start cutting press c okay then you press for example shift and hold shift to snap it to the middle here keep holding shift snap it here click space and you will see that's going to go through okay and that works with everything so for example k c click here hold press a to snap to angle let's do something like this okay and then the space bar and you see it's going to go through right the only problem is that you see that this projection in this case didn't go very well I think we were in, in perspective mode. Let me see. Let's go to orthographic. Let's try this again. K, C, we in orthographic mode now, okay? So click here, A, click here, 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 and spacebar. And now it went through. So you're going to be careful which orientation you are in because if you're going to be in perspective, 
it will not work very well for you. Normally in Blender when I'm using knife cut I'm actually using box cutter 90% of the time because it's so much more convenient. For example if I select this cube, run a cut, press K for knife and slice, this is my slice through. Um, if I want to for example use Angon I can, so let's just go with Angon. Now the box cutter will remember I'm in knife mode because you see when I start drawing it's blue. So now I can start snapping to my angles here, whatever I want. You can see there's going to be a dot highlighted when you align with this line here, the first stroke, which is really cool because you can go back to, you know, to this level here. This is fantastic. In addition to this, when I press B, I can bevel this, okay? So I can have chamfered it or I can bevel it, which is brilliant. So let's click that and, you know, you got yourself a beveled. Uh, knife through cut. In addition to this, you can switch it to circle and you can create, you know, for example, triangular cuts or uh, you can create, you know, circular cuts, right? So it's really convenient and very fast. So I recommend you guys use your knife tool with box cutter. But occasionally, knife tool is quite useful and, you know, I'm using both basically depending on the situation all right guys that's it for this video if you would like to learn more about hard ups and box color and how to use it in practice there is a link to a free tutorial on our website you can find it in the video description it's a modeling tool for creating a sci-fi terminal it's absolutely free it's really cool and you should you know be able to up your skills with hard ups and box color a little bit thanks so much for watching catch you in the next one